What's up, everybody? Hello, hello, and welcome to Monday morning. Vlog session. Yes. For sure. <laughs> so, today we want to talk about how we plan our week. And what we all plan, how we go about our week, and how we make the best or the most of the time that we have. Our little girl is a little crazy. She has crazy been absolutely on my nerves all day. She is <laughs> completely exhausted. It's, it's, it's beyond us. But we're dealing with it. We're all going to get through this day together sure the crazy thing is, is she slept super good last night she did she slept all the way till 5 57 this morning and she, everything was great yep now uh, she's just struggling a little she is struggling she has wants been to... for the last couple hours she doesn't even know what she wants she we've doesn't. gave her water we've gave her food we've gave her a walk we, we take we, her we, out yeah like <laughs> she's just struggling and we're all struggling yes but we're good yes so Anyway, moving forward, today we want to talk to you about planning. Yes. Go ahead. Tell them. <laughs> tell them it all. Tell them it all. Okay. So every Sunday, yes, I know it's not Sunday. We did not plan yesterday. Um, so we did that today. We sit down every Sunday to plan out our week. And what does that look like? So we plan out basically four important components for our lifestyle. First, we plan out our workouts. Every workout for the entire week, we plan them out on Sunday. Because if it's like you or me, I will switch my workouts according to how I feel if I don't plan ahead. And what I mean by that is if I'm feeling cruddy, then I tend to ease up on my workout. If I'm feeling good, I still tend to go a little lighter than I could have if it wasn't already planned out for me. So on Sunday, first thing we planned out is our workouts. Then for what do we plan? Well, I was gonna say for sure. And another thing that reason why we do that is it helps hold us accountable to show up and do that workout every day. Yeah, so the Monday through Friday boot camp that we're doing, the Black and Camo Boot Camp at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, you feel free to join us. Then we're planned out on Sunday so that when it comes 11 a.m., we know what we're doing, bing, bang, boom, we've got the thumbnails made, we're ready to drop it on the social media, and we are ready to go. There's no ifs, ands, or buts, and our workout is on fire for the day. For sure. The next thing that we start to plan is our relationships. And I'm not talking just the relationship between Dustin and I, but all relationships as a whole. So relationships with your parents, with your friends, with coworkers, whoever it may be, but tying up those loose ends, you know, getting in contact with them, whatever it is to make those relationships worthwhile. Yeah, one thing, especially right now with all the craziness going on, check on people. Mm -hmm. Send a quick text message, hey man, thinking about you, how are things going? Because mm -hmm. everybody is a little on edge, there's a little extra stress, there's a little too much going on, whatever, whatever, we don't even know what's all going on. So just sending a text message or even a little video message, we use Marco Polo a lot with our mm -hmm. clients, and so send a quick video, hey man, thinking about you, hope everything is well. Uh, let me know if I can help in any way. Well, I schedule things like that. So I might have two or three of them a day. That way people A, know I'm thinking about them. B, I'm spreading love and I'm giving back and seeing if there's something that I could actually do to help somebody else. For sure. And then another thing for like Dustin and I, we plan date nights. It's important to, with your marriage, to keep it strong and keep it Fresh. Fresh. Yeah. And one way to do that, and what Dustin and I have found, is to never stop dating each other. So we schedule date night, and that way we stick to it no matter what, what our date night's going to be, what time, the place, all of the things, so that way we can stay on point with our relationship and keep it fresh. Yeah, right now, it usually looks like order takeout and watch Netflix and chill because everything's closed up. But mm -hmm. any other time, you know, we're either going somewhere, checking mm -hmm. something out or whatever, whatever. I also plan in things like back massage mm -hmm. or foot rub or things like that to let her, or maybe even one of them pictures that I send. <laughs> but plan them Love in notes. so that, yeah, yeah, so that you know that it gets done, you can check it off your list, mm -hmm. and boom, 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 they open up their cooler and they got a love note for lunch or whatever, mm -hmm. and it's absolutely brilliant. For sure. What's the next thing we plan? The next thing that we plan is basically, 
I like to call it expansion. Anything that's going to help us with our ability to grow and learn. So whether that's read what book we are going to read, how many pages are we going to read? Is it a podcast? What podcast am I going to listen to? And kind of trying to plan those things out so you are feeding your mind with positive uh, information to um, help you grow. Yeah, and we are also part of a couple of paid social media groups where, you know, we have a large following uh, of people where we can bounce ideas off of each other and we do live calls on and things like that. And so them are some of the things that we plan for. The biggest thing we like to plan is what and who we're allowing in our space. Mm -hmm. It's easy to get caught up in the noise of this or that or whatever's going on, but if we're planning who we're allowing in our space and what we're allowing in our space, we can control our, nine times out of 10, you can control your feelings, you can control your emotions, you can control your day because you have a plan for it. If something breaks off, then you can go a different direction or whatever, but mm -hmm. the more we plan them things in, the less noise that we hear. For sure. And lastly, what we plan is work. What it is that we need to get done so that way we can be productive throughout the week, um, whether it's with our, our actual job that brings income in, whether it's video editing for you guys or whatever the things may be, but what type of things that we need to get done and tie up by the end of the week so that way we have... Keep going. <laughs> So that way we can make sure that we are checking those things off of our list and nothing is getting missed. So we literally just talked about planning all of this. That was an alarm for us to make sure we were fit finishing up our vlog for today. And here we are finishing up our vlog for today. <laughs> The big thing is here is you have to plan your days out. Mm -hmm. It's so super easy, especially living in a bus with not fit, having to go to work eight to five, Monday through Friday or whatever, whatever. It's very essential for us to plan. Mm -hmm. Otherwise we tend to sit around, veg out, and then the next thing you know, it's six o'clock and it's like, oh crap, we still have right. stuff we need to do. So we have to plan, we have to plan our meetings, mm -hmm. we have to plan our workouts, we have to plan our relationships. We have to plan it all, otherwise we truly find ourselves to be slipping. For sure, and honestly that was something that I struggled with when we first started living in the bus full time, was not having a schedule. And so I had to create that schedule and able to make it work for me. Yeah, and now? Now. We're still trying to figure it all out. <laughs> but that is something that we use to help us get through in our week, and we hope it helps you guys get through yours. If you happen to have any questions or like this video, mm -hmm. please share some love in the likes or the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We are dropping these things like flies every single freaking day. Absolutely. So with that, hope this helped you guys out. We will catch you tomorrow. Spread love.